Hello everyone and welcome to the GSA Annual Drag Show! Tonight we'll be built wall to wall with beauty, grace, fun, and talent. The exits, in case of an emergency, are located behind you right there, there, to my left, and to my right. All tips tonight will be given and that are given to the Queens will be donated to the Triangle Community Center, an organization in Norwalk that helps LGBTQ in the community. So bring your dollars to the stage. Tonight, you will be viewing three professional drag queens perform their acts as well as student performers participating in contests to be judged at the end and win a prize. Finally, you, the audience, will be allowed to come up on stage and to participate in a twerking contest and a runway contest. Competition to win a $15 gift card. At the end of the show tonight, we'll announce the raffle winners thanks to your donations to the Triangle Community Center organization. And finally, the professional queens will end the night with a Q&A to answer any and all questions you may provide them. And now, we are proud to present the Western Improv Group as our pre-show to tonight's annual drag show. Remember, this show tonight will be b-ball. Enjoy the show.
good stuff, but I'm really not that good for you. here on this corner, eh? I just 
just, I love getting my hair cut. Good, well, I'm glad to cut your hair. All right. Uh, my, my she is here. <laughs>
welcome to uh, Russia's next top nesting doll. Um, <laughs> so uh, you say that you're beautiful on the outside. Yes, on the inside there's a lot of me, but when you get to the root of it, it's a terrible, terrible thing. Hi guys, welcome to Rat Gladiator. I'm <laughs> All right, Mr. Rat, why do you think you are the best one to win? Because I give people syphilis knowingly. Oh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
you got a big heart and I need a big stethoscope. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm getting too old to stand all the time. My back hurts. I have cords on my feet. Then honestly, it's just a major inconvenience. <laughs>
show at the corner of Fuck You and Go Fuck Yourself Avenue.com. I'll see you there. Bring a sweater. If you think you can do better, sweetheart, I implore you. Put on a wig and mash your mouth around to other people's music for four and a half minutes. It's not as easy as it looks. Do you need a hairpiece? Here, you can borrow mine. Generosity to these monstrosities. Respect, kindness, compassion. And most of all, whenever possible, tell us we look gorgeous.
this bitch come on the stage. Yes, and isn't she fierce? Give it up for Miss Kenya! Yes. I've been known to steal a show or two. I've been known to steal a girl or two. I've been known to steal a man or two. Okay, well, just not my coat. I mean, no, of course not. I just, you know, coat, like, student loans is a motherfucker. Oh, girl. I do what I do to pay the bills.
body, fabulous. Girl, what you doing? Oh, she wants that. That's how that works. You know what they say, finders keepers. That's right, finders keepers. Losers don't get their shit back. No. <laughs> what did you say? Price tag. Price tag. Price tag this right now. We got here ourselves a sleeveless fashion. Uh, Leather. Stay in a silent jacket. Leather. Uh, Leather. This yeah, is made like so Louis nice. Vuitton. Like, yeah. And uh, Prada. Not Prada. Prada. Puerto Rican owned business. Mm. Prada. Oh, you don't get nada, damn it. <laughs> it's either Prada or nada. Say it with me. Prada or. Prada or. Nada. Prada or. Nada. Look at y'all smart people. Yeah. It's like if you went to college or something. <laughs> Oh my boy. So, are you ready to introduce the, no, the first? Well, you're the first. Always the first, yeah, bitch. Always, always the first. Just like Michelle Obama. But the first human being, <laughs> just like Michelle Obama. You could be her lookalike. There you go. I could also be Wesley Snipes' lookalike. In another dress, yes. In your other dress, absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. absolutely. So, our next performer, actually, is another student performer. Give it up for student performancers! Yes. It's not easy for us to get up in front of these judgmental bitches. I'm just saying. Oh, they don't look very judgmental. That one's wearing a crown. Hey, queen! Yes. I don't need Bruce crown. I have my own crown. Thank you. But I do want her money. Oh, me too. You know what? We'll split it. Definitely. 100, 100K? 50-50? Don't have to share with the others who don't know. I won't tell if you won't know. tell the government either. I already paid my taxes, so that money is tax free. What are taxes? <laughs> Girl, are they coming for you. I <laughs> think that adult. Any minute they're gonna come through the window. I'm a baby. <laughs> but our next student performer is will, which will be judged, is coming out, and it's no one other than Miss Cat Graw. Yeah.
walk. I can't do any of that stuff. I don't care. I can't walk at all. <laughs> <laughs> I keep walking. Well, you're faking it so well. I am. I am. I'm just. I'm just like you know. I'm just chilling. My hair. Just it's one foot yes. in front of the other. That's my hair. Horses coming up. Just. Right. So stop the yard. I'm like, ready for the Kentucky Derby right now. Yes. What? I, like, not just, I don't want to get one uncomfortable. I just keep coming over here because, like, you, you, yes, you, bitch, you. I listen. It's a drag show. I love making people come uncomfortable, making people feel uncomfortable. Oh, and you know the best part? Hi. You know the best part about a drag show? It's not like Drag Race where it's on TV. We can come to you. <laughs> Bitch, I am coming to you loud, live, and in color. Yes. Yeah. Loud, proud. High definition, baby. We are, I don't know about all of that. I mean, not in this fluorescent lighting. I no, I know you did not put that. Let's get back on the stage. They got the stage lights. Girl, we'll be safe if you stay on stage. I want the name of the person. Let me tell you. I want the name. The I address. see you, lighting designer. Ever I put see that you with your choices. Right Ever put that bitch right here? That's right. You know you fucked up. Can you? Can you? Take my when breath. I signed up for this, you, pro you promised there would be no fluorescent lighting. You know what happens when I'm in fluorescent lighting? You know what happens when I'm in fluorescent lighting? You ever seen that female? You ever seen Gremlins? It's a lot worse. You ever seen Coco Montrese? Look how orange you look. Like. I'm not joking, bitch. <laughs> Until you do right by me, everything you even think about going to crumble. <laughs> For the white people, that's color purple. <laughs> color purple? For the white people, looking color purple is the movie of white. I don't like the word, wait, 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 wait. I don't like the word white. I like the term non-melanin. That's a better word, that's a better term. That's a great term. For you acid-washed people? Acid wash. That's from the magic style, let me tell you. I like the term non melanin That is fucking good. I'm putting, oh my god, I'm putting other and right non melanin Do you know what else is coming back in style? What? Barbies. Barbies? Yes, Barbies. Is that because of Trixie Mattel? No, well, that, yes, everyone loves Trixie. Oh, so yeah. everyone loves the RuPaul's Barbie Trixie Mattel. Well,
acting on. Instagram 
Miss, M-I-S-S, summer like the season, Orlando like Disney World, you're welcome. And follow me on Faith on Instagram, where are we? Girl! Uh, you can follow me everywhere, but follow me on Instagram and I'll follow you back. And you want to also go into that Instagram and follow at just, J-U-S-T, Andrew, A-N-D-R-E-W, more, M, O, like, like, more into my, air, no, no, more safari experience, more, more Africa Alaganza, Wakanda forever. Bibi's a hard name lost, so no ma'am, no ma'am. Cameroon! Yes, there she is. She's the low budget Cameroon! Y'all ready to have some fun? Cause I'm ready to get some of y'all up here. Are y'all ready for that? Cause what we, what we about to have tonight, we about to have ourselves a little runway competition. Little, little runway competition. May I be your first? Oh, okay, Miss Jenna. Okay. You can be our first, second, third, last, leftovers. Right? Yeah, I'm not even. Yes. I'll put it in Tupperware. I told you in the back. She's got, that good, that. she's got that good Tupperware, too. I want to come to your party. She got that good, good Tupperware. But yeah, yeah, you were saying something about a runway. I love a runway. Oh, definitely. So, what we're going to do is, for the runway competition, yes, we're going to grab. Six of y'all, okay? Six. Now, that being said, we're gonna go three from over here and three from over here. Now, here's the scary part. I'm gonna come get you bitches. Ooh. And Summer's gonna go get you bitches from over there. I'm gonna come get you. Turn on those lights, but they better not be fluorescent. You know, you know what's really funny, though? You know what's really funny? As I'm walking down, graceful like a gazelle, this, this, little, this little biscuit right here, she's over here like, She's walking down like a biscuit basket, and I'm walking down like the Rockettes Christmas Spectacular. This, this little girl over here, just over here. See you. All right, let's see who we got over here. I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, all right, so one. Get on up on that stage. Let me see. I need me a sister. I need me a sister. All right, you in the blue. Come on, Miss Blue. Go on up on those stairs. Come on, Miss Blue. Come on, Miss Blue. Go on up on those stairs. That's two. Hang on. Giggling and shit. Let's see. Over here, shaking like two I want to get a little bit Okay, child. let's see. All right, Miss Blondie, come on. Come on now, Miss Blondie. Yeah. Girl, don't have me pick you, give me shots, bitch. Yes, you, come here. Blondie. That girl, there she is. I think that her in my three, right? How many more do I got to pick? I don't do math. You got three, right? I got three. Okay. I got, I got three, baby. I got That's three. That's all I can take. I need one more. I, well, I can take a lot more, but I can Oh, listen. there she is. I, there my, she is. I need a sis. I knew she was in the room. Get your ass up here. Get up here. Look at look at what she's wearing. Oh, oh my God. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, Tiana is quaking. Yeah, had the nerve. Quaking in the dressing room. Had the nerve to walk to the stage all shot. Yes, this thing. Look at those shoes. What is it? Oh. Wait a minute, hang on, hold up, wait a minute. What size shoe are you? Not your Never mind. Moving on. Alright, so what we're gonna do for this runway competition, okay, y'all? What we're gonna do is we're gonna have y'all start from this end of the stage, okay? This end. From this end, we're gonna have you strike the pose, bow, and then we're gonna have you walk, 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 stop, strike another pose, boom. Give it to the camera, boom. Give it to the camera, then don't let the camera act for it, and then continue to walk, 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 stop, and then just back. If you want a death drop, you can't. We don't have insurance. <laughs> and we just got the water main fixed, so. Can, can you death drop? Can I death drop? Yes. I can't death drop, but I can lie down and not get back up. I can drop dead. Like, if you give me a beat, I can like, oh, come on. Can you do the splits? Yes, I can do that. But oh. not in this dress, though. Okay. Because I'm a lady. Because you're a lady. A lady with a little something oh, extra. Whoa, whoa. She's a zebra. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so who wants to be our first? Oh, I didn't notice you. Hello. 
Hi, how yes. are you? Yes, it's blue over What's here. What's your name? My name is Dion. His name is Dion. Dion! Ain't nothing like a brother with a brother named Dion. <laughs> Dion! I had the nerd to say a D2, Dion. <laughs> I don't mind you, male. <laughs> Dion, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from here, there. So you gonna start first, okay? Okay. Yeah. Don't do that shy shit. And you gonna... all are gonna be judged, right? They're gonna mm -hmm. be judged. Now, y'all are gonna be our judges. So based off of y'all little roars and everything, little ta-ta, all that. Based off y'all Cardi B notifications, we are gonna, you know, Announce the winner like that. Okay. You know what? We're gonna judge by how many Instagram followers I get back. That's what we're gonna do. I think that's a great idea. Mm, yeah, right? I, we can split that that for like a good point. Yeah, oh know? definitely, yeah. yeah absolutely. So y'all ready? Alright. Here we go. So we're gonna have you start from over there, and then you gonna sissy that walk here, go stop okay. here, then go and come back. Okay? Get ready to yes God! Yeah, okay, we're just what DJ pump the beat. You know what I'm category is yeah. 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 Don't have the echo. 
moving this bitch. You better calm down now. My skirt's already riding up. To judge. So, Ooh, what no we're gonna do to judge is we're gonna put our hand over someone like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. You've done this before. <laughs> Alright, you ready, Summer? Go ahead. I'm ready. Here we go. There we go. You're learning. I didn't see your runway. Can you do it again? There was a reveal at one point. I didn't see it. <laughs> it wait, wait, hold on. It doesn't do it on him. Is it is it scratch and sniff? Is it I'm giving you applause. You're welcome. That's what Black Panther really is. Alright, that was good. Ready? Ready? Here we go. I mean, I'll, not being biased, aren't you? But, you know, yeah. There's no bias. I, I really like him too. He's, he's got a lot of loud. Like, he's loud. He got a lot of sass. Sir, you can, you can, you can, Mr. Sass. I mean, I mean, her, she, yeah. Mm -hmm. Give him. All right, so we thank you guys for being a part of the Thank you guys. You're all winners in our eyes, no. but tonight you're losers. But it's okay. We love you anyways. You may now sashay away. Right. Give it up for your top three! I bet you four! Girl, I only see in numbers, so listen. So based off this right here, we're going to Here we go, our top four, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, one more little runway. One more time. One more now you can do the cardio. Yeah. Alright, so you guys ready? One more little runway, give it everything you got. Here we go. Everything you have. And I said everything, so if you want to take off your clothes, you can meet me in my dressing room. Thank you. Oh I'll see you over there. All right, you ready? So back to the curtain. Back to the curtain. Back DJ, to the curtain. DJ, pump, pump, pump the beat. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, yes. Bring it to the runway. Come on. Bring it, star, statements, and legends. Hit What category are you walking in? Femme Queen Realness. Come right. on, Femme Queen, Queen Realness. Real Show us your Femme Queen Realness. realness. All right. Hold 
That was amazing. Like, live singing is very hard. So one more round of applause for them. They are so great! Wow. But you know, the one thing they missed? You're the one that I want. You are the one I want. How many Grease fans do we have here in the audience? I thought so. I could tell, I knew I liked you guys. I knew I liked you guys. We're just gonna become very close friends. Closer than you think. Yeah. Where the hell is my co-host? Oh, I know. <clears throat> Hang on. Oh, I can talk. I can talk all day. Fabulous. How's everyone doing tonight? Having a good time? Great. Wonderful. How are we, judges? Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you're fantastic. I feel fantastic because I know you're not judging me tonight. <laughs> Sorry for those who are being judged tonight. Don't be too cruel to them. That's my job. <laughs> yes! So, any, is anybody celebrating anything tonight? Besides National Lesbian Day, Awareness Day? I think that's just the tips. It's wonderful. Yes! Do we have any birthday? Oh, I see a hand. Yes. Yeah. 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 It was your very first time performing in front of a crowd with your improv team. That's amazing! Round of applause, everyone! Give it up for me! Which stands for Western Improv Group. Yes! They told me that in the dressing room. I'm not that, I'm not that crafty. I'm not that smart. No, nope, I'm not that smart. That's why I'm a drag queen. Stay in school, kids! Stay in school! Or this could happen to you! Uh, but I don't have student loans, so that's good. <laughs> True, right? I see everybody glowing, that's fun. Where's everybody getting these glow sticks? I want some. Yeah? That's great. All right. You know, when you need a janitor at this time, no one's cleaned up the stage. Does anybody have a push broom? Like, I'll do it myself, but this is like showgirls right now. I could slip and fall and accidentally do a death drop that kills me. Oh. 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 Shoot. Are you ready now? The Nutcrackers. Oh girl, we'll say that for the what? what? Oh God! Oh, this is perfect. Now I'm gonna introduce you. Ready? Here we go. No girl. All right, don't trip on these glow sticks though. All right, so are we ready for our performer? <laughs> Act surprised when she comes out. She ruined the appearance. I had jokes and everything. I'm still gonna make the jokes. So, about to perform something about something that she's very, very, very good at. She's a woman of many talents. Give it up for Kenya Moonheart! She's begging on her knees.
cut stuff. She's gone, so I'm going to take this. Now, we will be going into a 15-minute intermission. We hope you are enjoying the show so far. Remember, anyone who donates will receive a raffle ticket for the grand prize, visible on the donation table in front of the auditorium. All donations will be given to the Triangle Community Center. Round of applause for that. That's amazing. appreciate any and all donations you can make. Be back in 15 minutes for another round of gay fun. <laughs> Who writes this shit? <laughs> We're taking intermission. We'll be back with another full fabulous show. Go donate and get raffle tickets and have a good gay old time. See you soon. on your dress. Yes! Welcome to Act Two. Welcome to Act Two. That's how we say it in the theater. Act Two. It makes it sound like fancy. It makes it sound like it's important. Yes, it's very important. It makes it sound very dear. Very dear. Yes, like that dress. Where did you mop that from? Because that is gorgeous. Will you believe that I found this in a bin? In your grandmother's closet? Oh no, my grandmother got fashion like this. Oh, okay. She's like from like, this era. Oh, yes, okay, 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 okay. This, oh. this is very, like, you know, great Gatsby, but if he had, mm, yes. he had a black love interest. Uh huh. Yes, black, great Gatsby. <laughs> okay, but black it, speed. This a great bit, black speed. A little bit of Rihanna right here, a little bit of Rihanna. Little Rihanna. It's like right there. The like, hairline and the. Yeah, and the glasses. Like the forehead, five, 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 five head, and everything. All that. Okay. So, you ready to introduce our first performer of Act 2? Oh, of course. Are y'all ready for our first performer of Act 2? Ah, 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 ah. This I, is Act 2. I don't know if they're ready. That yeah, was, I said Act 2. Are y'all ready? It's not like they said they were ready for, like, you know, final week or something. Right, right. Like, like West Fest or something. Right. Like, I um, said, are you ready for your next performer of Act 2? That's cute. That's cute. All right. So our next performer for Act Two is no other than Miss Tiana Axelrod.
one lap they are gonna have to watch. Wow, that hurt my lady parts. Oh my god, look at that black Power Ranger bitch. Look at her! Um, I think she broke the stage. I'm a drag queen, I don't drink water, what? Did anybody else feel a quiver in the Earth's equator when that happened? Felt a little shake, got that. Okay, and we're looking to the audience, our beautiful usher handing out But this was also my spotlight, so I just wanted some of it. I just wanted some of the spotlight. You can have as much spotlight as you want after my number. <laughs> so wait, <laughs> I'll to? give you another try. All right, you want me to walk Ladies and gentlemen, this was the dress rehearsal. I'm gonna go behind that curtain. You're gonna come back, announce me properly. Okay. And then I'm gonna come on stage and I want everyone to scream like they've never seen me before. Okay. Gotcha. Scream like you saw a mouse. <laughs> Hi everybody! Okay, now coming to the stage for more ear orgasm. Okay, welcome to the stage, the mother, the one and only Miss Summer Orlando. You know, I like to teach the children, you know? So, right now, we're gonna do a little educational number for the children, for all you wonderful people. Okay, so this is an assembly, like school. And this is a PSA about these.
now some have enough, and some have too much, and some like me could stand a whole lot more. Damn near one of y'all pull one of this, I'm gonna rip your arm out of the socket. It's gonna 
gonna end up in the chicken bucket? You better not do this. You better not do this. I don't wanna see none of this. This is not your grandmama's cookout, all right? This, this, this is, you know what this is? This is Auntie Shanika cookout. I'm gonna, oh, oh, okay, okay, Shaniqua. Okay. I want all that, all right? So I wanna know right now, where are my fierce twerkers at? I wanna know where- I wanna see some juicy booty. Tiana, get your ass on okay, go ahead. Some juicy booty. Yeah, I've seen that booty too many times. Who that bent over in the corner trying to hide? Who that? I see you hiding. What's wrong? I love you're the only one right now. <laughs> She's like, any diggers? What's wrong? What's wrong? You know what the funny thing is? You got a neon head, like a Leon movie in here, which I can see you. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna go up there and do something strange for some change? Oh my goodness. I mean, all you, all, you know, all you're gonna do is this. Is the twerk, twerk, twerk. It's alright. It's alright. So where are my twerkers at? Come on, let me see some twerkers. I cannot get yeah. a twerk. Put a twerk. Twerk, 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 twerk. Alright, I see where everybody's pointing at. I mean, you gotta go up there and show me what you got. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Girl, we here to support you. Girl power. Oh, oh, oh. Girl power. Come on, help me get some people. Let me see somebody shake some ass. Come on. Come Who on. wants to shake some ass? Come on, do something. Yes. I see some hands over here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. She is. Go. She looks. You don't want to be is enemy number one. Act strong. And you never want to say no to a drag Act strong, queen. bitch. You don't want to be enemy number one. You invited to the cookout. Come on down. Wait a minute. I see where your good looking sister. What? Wait. I'm looking at oh, you. Oh, oh, baby. Look at you, baby. Look at you. Look. Did you just you want you? Come on. Look. I would have went over her husband, I was like, do you want him to do it? She was like, no, yes. no, please, please don't do it, no. Come on, let's get somebody, who wanna shake it? Come on, I know. Who wants to shake it? Come on, shake, shake it, shake it, shake it. Go ahead, got shake both of y'all, go Shake it up, shake it yeah. up. Yes, you did, go ahead. Got to go up the elevator. Okay. I want to see some booty. Yeah. Come on, let's see some booty. 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 What? Anybody can twerk. Listen. That's a lie. That's a lie. Not everybody can twerk. You got girl, I believe in you. As Tiana. Tiana knows not everybody can twerk. So she okay? No. Said I have the best ass on the on the stage. Thank you. Oh, we Face the audience, okay? Boom. So just a little tension. Boom. Turn around, all right? 
So what should I do then? They can put their hands on the, on the curtain. I'm cool, you know, yeah. You know, like on the wall, put your hands on the wall. Like, so uh, leverage. Uh, so once you turn around, right, the music will start. And I want you to just be like, uh, if you feel like getting low, uh, if you, you want to take your tongue out, get nasty, tart to beat, uh, and all that shit, go ahead, do it. All right, so y'all ready? Everybody ready? Turn around, turn around. Turn Here's the real question. Oh. Are y'all ready? Oh. Are you ready, West High? All right. DJ, play that music, DJ. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, honey. Due to the fact that her eyes spread just like. Go ahead, y'all. Twerk and shake it. Oh. Oh. Right now, next, 
we are having another student performer who is another student performer. Yeah, another student performer who is also being judged. Now, oh, some of you, some of you, pay attention. How many of y'all are theater majors? I'm a theater, not a major, but I am a theater person. I'm a major, major, okay. major, major slut. Um, <laughs> on your knees. I mean, in some countries, showing this much skin can give me like a lot of men. Yeah, but for being on your knees as much as you are, you got really what? good knees. Thank you. I see what I do because I'm a person of color. They get ashy. Yes. And um, I use cocoa butter. I love some cocoa butter. What? Bitches better learn about some. Do you want to know a funny story about cocoa butter, real quick? So the funny story about cocoa butter, when I first heard about cocoa butter, I thought it was a treat. And so, oh yes, bitch. I opened up that cocoa butter container and stuck my hand in like it was frosting. Summer dough. And I ate the soap. Summer it tasted like soap. Summer and I was like, what? From then on, I learned what cocoa butter was, and that was only for the non-melanin type people's legs. Basically, yeah. It's just, they know. have what? Huh? Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, stop trying to be incognito. Give it up for Tiana Max and Rose in the audience. Woo! Trying to be, be Miss Sisterette. Trying to be Diva. You and none. Alright, so our next student performer is a theater major. Is also a theater major. I love you. And I don't know who you are, but I love you. other than Miss Jenna singing Changing My Major from Funhouse. Oh, I knew that we were going to be friends. I love her. Does she need this mic? Bitch. <laughs> What happened last night? Are you really here? Joan, 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 Joan. Hi, Joan! Don't wake up, Joan! Oh my god, last night. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, last night. I got so excited, I was too enthusiastic. Changing. 
like rainbow sashes. Uh, hello, my name is Arcadia. I'm actually the GSA's treasurer, and I'm here to announce the raffle winner. And uh, before I do that, just want to announce that we made a hundred and thirty-nine dollars and eighty-seven cents. Thank you for your donation. And this will all go to the Triangle Community Center. Um, so thank you so much for attending tonight's show and just giving back. And it means a lot to us that we were able to put on the drag show this year again. Um, so without further ado, let me uh, pull out a name. Hopefully it's yours. Yeah. Owen in the in the audience down there. Yeah, number one, two, seven, nine, uh, seven, one. Sorry, Kevin. Owen? Owen actually left. So I'll take her prize for her. If she's not here, it can. Uh, yeah. Let's just do that. Can you come off stage and just uh, bring this up? If you have her ticket too. Check. If you have the uh, ticket for her, then if not, we're gonna pick another raffle winner. <laughs> okay, we're about to pick another one. Oh, you guys walked out. All right. Is there an Olivia here? Uh, ticket one two eight four. Nope. Oh my God, we're just gonna keep going all night. Let's see. Is there an Anna Samos? Ticket one two seven five. Oh my god. These people, these people. Okay, okay, okay. Is there a Jackie? Uh, Chu something? <laughs> Ticket 1292. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got your job. opportunity not only to call friends here on campus, but to be able to direct students to who are looking for fabulous 
people for direction, for ideas, for guidance, and for role models. They are confident avatars of adult, grown-up, serious queerness, and we love you very much. So thank you very much, and thank you for allowing me to play in your sandbox tonight. Uh, so okay, so we've got some winners here. First of all, congratulations to everybody who had the bravery, and I would say the balls, but I don't know if that's appropriate. <laughs> To come out here tonight and dance around in high heels. Uh, I don't know if you saw me when I was tripping getting up out of there, but it's because I'm wearing my flats tonight. I'm really not used to it. So, um, so acknowledging everybody's fabulous contributions, what we've got, or what we've got, that's not right, who we've got for a winner. Um, yeah, we got a snap roll, a drum roll, some kind of roll out there. Roll. Okay, our winner. Excuse me? Oh, yeah, it was a very close race. Uh, first and second place separated by one point. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing that queen gave us the extra dollar. <laughs> Our winner tonight with a total of 52 points is Miss Kenya Moan Hard. Where is she? There you go. You know, you know I know what you look like when the sun is up, right? All right, all right. I love money. Do you have Miss Miss Kenya? Would you Would you like to address your crowd? Hi, everybody. Oh my God. First off, I didn't even know I was nominated. Like, what? With this money, I can buy for the nail that I lost. I don't know where it went, but oh well. But yeah, I definitely want to thank you all. This is like my first time like in a drag show, and this is my first time performing for you guys, so thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And like, trust me, this shit happening every year. I don't give a damn if I'm not here. It's happening, okay? All right. So y'all ready for the next portion of the show now? Other than me gloating in my awareness? Um, Tonight, we're going to do a little Q&A, okay, guys? Is that okay with you guys? So, if we can just open up the curtain to show all these elegant bitches that we're going to be crushing and answering from, okay? Let me get a hell of a round of applause for these beautiful queens! Miss Tiana Mazzaro-Rose, Miss Summer Orlando, and CT's own Barbie, Miss Sylvia Hall. The way this is gonna go, I mean, like, it's a QA, and a but unlike YouTube, you can't like tweet us your answers. So, what you're gonna do is, like, I'm gonna go out in the audience because I love being in your faces. Like, bam, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be nervous. I said don't be nervous, right? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, right, I'm gonna just tiptoeing in my Jordans, trying to see, see, that's, see, that, that's, that's, that's connected, man. that's what I'm to feel. All right, so if you have a question, raise your hand. If I can see you pass my lash, then you get to ask your question. So, I'll start it off. So, what I want to know is... Oh, Lord. Well, it's nothing shady. I'm, right. a good, I'm a good queen. A man ain't a whip. Nothing shady comes out of your mouth. You're doing correct, it. correct. Everything correct about that statement. Except I don't know what the man part. Kind of what you mean with that. But, I want to know, what made you start doing drag? What was your inspiration? Oh, hi, everybody. So I had to start, well I didn't have to, but I started doing drag as like a joke for my friend's birthday. It was like a switch party at a club in New Haven. And um, New Haven. <laughs> so um, I went and then like, I didn't perform or anything. I just went to look pretty. And then I was like, oh crap, you can make money off this shit. So it was all pretty much downhill from there. And you know, corns and bunions later. How about you, bitch? Mine was a completely different story. So, how many theater majors do we have in the crowd tonight? Okay. No, I said theater majors, girl. You drinking in the dressing room again? Okay. She's not sharing. <laughs> She's not sharing. So, but I'll share. So, I came from, come from a theater background as an actor. So, my first time doing the Rocky Horror Show, such a fabulous show. Well, 
if you're unfamiliar with the show, you have to cross dress in the show. No. So yes, I was a huge thing. So I did the show. I was cast as Frankenfurter, and thank you, thank you. I'm still just a sweet transvestite. So wow. now, <laughs> so a drag queen saw me. A local drag queen saw me at my show and told me that I should audition and be a drag queen and to show up at this place and I'd get booked. That was in Hartford, Connecticut in 2000. So, no. So that's where it all began. And then it just kind of took off from there. When people found out I could sing and I could dance, I now play places like this. The theaters! Yeah! Um, all right, you two, pipe down, thank you. Um, it's kind of cool because all three of us come from much different backgrounds. We have somebody who kind of just started drag for fun, we have a theater major, and I'm far different than most people. I am not just a drag queen, I am a transgendered woman, so. Oh. Make some noise, yeah! So, on top of, I mean, I had to start as a drag queen in all honesty, but what I like to identify myself as is a showgirl. Um, not because what they do is different, but because sometimes people mix the two together and things get, <laughs> and things get messy. But I started to find myself, and now I find myself on stage and still doing it. But when I come to schools, I have to wear a lot more clothes, so it's a little bit different. <laughs> Rated R for Ratchet. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I have another little question, but then after this one, we'll let the audience ask some questions. So if you don't have a question, come up with a motherfucking question. <laughs> but I love you guys, because we're family tonight, right? No! <laughs> somebody's gotta have a question. Yeah, the naked in front of you. Yeah, somebody's gotta have a question. Yeah, I mean, it can't get any worse than that. You want some water? So, my next question is, obviously, I'm pretty sure everyone's heard this little show called RuPaul's Drag Race, right? All right, so my question is, how do you guys, like, feel? Do you think RuPaul's Drag Race has uplifted drag? Has it made it more mainstream? Has it made people know it all about drag? Like, what do you think about it? What do you think about RuPaul's Drag Race and its effect on the drag community? Um, RuPaul's Drag Race has definitely made drag more mainstream, but if you know anything about drag entertaining, there's a whole other, there's actually probably two other like aspects of drag, which could be ballroom scene, which includes foguing, runway, vixen, all types of things like that. And then there's also the pageant systems, which is Miss Continental, Miss Gay, US of A, all sorts of continentals throughout pretty much every state except for Connecticut, unfortunately. Um, so RuPaul's Drag Race made it more mainstream and it's something that people see all the time, but if you like RuPaul's Drag Race, I will definitely encourage you to look into the ballroom scene and to look into the pageant system because, um, especially the pageant system, it's a whole different ball game because it is drag queens and showgirls. A whole different ball scene. Oh, ah. yeah. All the girls you got But I would suggest looking into them because whereas RuPaul's Drag Race is mainly drag queens and a couple of us girls will sneak in there. Um, like the pageant system is drag queens and trans girls and it is, it's, a, 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 oh God, I love it. I watch Miss Continental every year on my aunt's couch, faithfully. Yes, you guys should get into it. <laughs> um, to piggyback on what Tiana said, uh, yes, RuPaul's Drag Race has made drag very much mainstream to in the beginning when it was just like a total underground thing. Like it was something that people did and like could literally get shot for. And I would say that if you are into RuPaul's Drag Race and you like stuff like that, learn about where drag came from, learn about Stonewall, learn about, you know, the roots, right? Definitely. Because without, without the roots, know your history, because without those roots, we wouldn't have the tree that is drag, you know? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. Get to your purse. Hey, where you going? I know. You better have class. Better have money. <laughs> Learn. Do good things. Okay, so anyways. Um, so as someone that started drag like before RuPaul's Drag Race, that whole shebang started. Just get my age away. Yeah. Fuck, whatever. Um, 
so when I was coming up, I didn't have like YouTube to like tutorialize my face and hair and shit like that. So I, I would have to go to like Walgreens and stuff like that to like put my face together. And I still do. Don't get wrong. But um, does it? It has become like more mainstream in my eyes. And back when I was doing like before RuPaul's Drag Race, it was like special to be a drag queen. Like you would. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, ma'am. I was nice, I called you ma'am. So, um, like you were, there wasn't like 9,000 of us trying out for like shows and gigs and all this other thing. You were one or three, one of three people in a nightclub performing for whoever came out. So it, in that aspect, it was more special. So it's cool now that like we're more mainstream and everyone is just like all into it, and that's great. And as someone that's tried out for RuPaul's Drag Race almost every time, catch me on the casting special of season three. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I mean, I'm still going to do it just because I want them RuPaul coins. Yeah. But um, I don't know. It's it's fun just because if you do drag, it's fun. But if it's something to do, just. You know, you think you're gonna make a, a money off of it? You're doing it for the wrong reasons. Yes, ma'am, put your heart into it. Okay, so now, let's turn on the house lights so I can see all you beautiful individuals. Look at that, all these hands. Oh, oh, these hands, oh my god. Yeah, I know, they're like kind of like witches. You can't really put them, like get them wet. We're grimmings, can't feed them after midnight. Oh my god. Give me a couple of questions. I feel like Oprah, oh, is this a condom? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Multiple condoms. That's oh yes, bitch. Gay bang tonight in Penny Hall. Okay. So, hello, sir. What is your name? Evan. Another one with a deep one. Evan. Okay. And what is your question? You look such a um. You guys have a really confident countenance. Do you still get nervous? Is that the end of your question? Yes. <laughs> I know, I know, about the question following up with the question. I mean, like, how nervous do you get, like, does it... Okay, let me, let me break it down for you this way. Do you get nervous at, uh, do you, you've taken tests before, yes? Yeah. Do you get nervous at tests? Do you get nervous when you take a big test? A little bit. Sure, yeah. Okay, so with every performance, it's different. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if your heel's going to break, you don't know if you're going to forget your words, you don't know who's in the audience. So do you get nervous? Yes. But do you have to do it? Yep. Cause you're here, so push through it. Have you? I'm done. Can't do that. Can I ask you another question? Not on my television show. <laughs> Are we doing like one question per thing, or do you want me to answer that too? If Is it priority? I mean, if you want. Oh, I'll answer. So, me personally, coming from a background of theater, performing in musicals and sh musicals and shows. I get nervous in like different ways, in other different ways. Like I don't really focus on like, is my shoe gonna break? Do I know the words? Do this, that, whatever. It's more of like my environment and the energy that the audience gives me. Which tonight I had no nerves because you guys are fierce and fabulous, and you have so much pride that we really appreciate and love you. I guess I'll answer it too then. Um, I don't get nervous. I don't know why. I think She's just, bold. No, I, I mean, I'm one of those people who would like trip and fall, and when people laugh, I'm just like, I don't really care. I mean, I jumped on the stairs, and I didn't realize they weren't connected to the rest of the stage. I don't know who noticed that they didn't, that they weren't connected, but they're not connected. And you know what? I could have like probably fallen on the floor, cried, and rolled, but I just assumed the sets were gonna fall on me. No. No. Last year, I got last year I got stuck in the floor somewhere up there. You remember, like, I went to jump? Yeah, my view was in there. It was like, get connected for free with education. Get connected for free. But no, I, I guess to finish that answer is, I guess nerves are something that you get used to when you've been doing it for a while. And although one person on the stage is a little older than the rest of us, we've all been doing it long <laughs> So I'm the, the shady one. So um, to take away the world. We've been doing it long enough to know how to kind of fight through that. Yes, so, ma'am. Come boom. Through. We're going to do two more questions. Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Erica. I like all the moths on the beach. Um, <laughs> I was wondering, you guys have such uh, 
different like styles of clothes and the songs you pick. Is there like a way you, you found yourself to that style, to the songs you choose, or is it just ah, like this, let's do this? Okay, so I think the question is about our different aesthetics. Yeah, like how did so you come in? How did we you come dress in? differently, we perform to different types of music, we have different types of ways of performing. Is that the question? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm glad you will answer it too. That's nice. It was, yeah, it was great. This isn't your living room. So, yes, um, every queen has a different aesthetic. It's how they identify with themselves. So, I'm going to say it again and you're like, bitch. You're welcome. So me being a theater kid, my aesthetic is the theatrics. So that's what I do, that's what I know. I love costumes, I love glitter, I love rhinestones and things that sparkle and catch the eye. For any question for summer, it's just automatically gonna be the theater. <laughs> and like I said, I'm known as a showgirl. What I prefer to do is a little explicit. I like nudity, I like body, sexual. I didn't want to say naked, but but naked. Um, it came from, I guess, where I started drag, because I was around a bunch of trans women, and they like to be what they call female illusionists, female impersonators, where if a straight guy comes in, they're kind of like, how the fuck did she do that? That's kind of where my drag looks come from. Um, I don't know where the fuck my shit comes from. I don't, well, yeah, but I don't want to say I'm, oh, I'm good, because I'm not. But, well, I'm a bitch, so. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, uh, I really don't know. I, if I see something and it catches, like, if I'm out shopping or if I'm online, or just, like, whatever, and I, it catches my eye, then in my mind it's going to catch someone else's. So, why not freaking have it in my closet? I might wear it now, what? Oh, duh. I don't get into it. Maybe. So, um, yeah, I really don't know, but I, do have, I did go to school for fashion design, is that better? And um, I was, <laughs> I, was, I did like styling for like magazines and stuff like that, so I just know how to throw shit together and make it look expensive, but this whole outfit honestly is probably like $19. Uh, yeah, but bitch, it's expensive. But yeah, I just throw a bunch of shit together and hope it looks good. Bitch, tell them about that dress she was making out of zip ties. Um. <laughs> This, this, bitch no, went, <laughs> this bitch went and got like a little mesh fishnet thing with some panties and I saw it on like Facebook and I was like, ooh, ooh, she must do a little mermaid, a little something, something. I don't know what she's gonna do. This bitch put zip ties, rainbow zip ties, up the damn dress and was like, I gotta buy more zip ties. No, really? <laughs> okay, so I bought this like two-piece mesh thing from like a Mandy's. Like everybody know what Mandy's is? Yeah! Okay, cool. So it was like, the whole thing was probably like three bucks. And it was sat in my closet for a year. And I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this thing? So I was like, oh, neon zip ties are like $2.99 for a package of 100. Let me get three packs. 13 packs later, this thing literally weighs about as much as me. And I still have yet to wear it because I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna wear this thing now. So all this damn money, I don't know what the hell no, it ain't gonna go with nothing. But yeah, it's cool to have stuff like that in your closet just for a rainy day. I mean, that's you know, the chi chi of everything. Ooh, what'd you say? Oh, you want my sash. Why do you want my I earned this sash. What do you mean? What kind of privilege is that? What? You earned it. Okay. Oh look, we got an extra sash for you. Tiana hasn't turned it into pasties yet, so. You right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my best friend with this little sashy sash. Oh, she's like the best bitch I know, even though she has only one leg. <laughs> I mean, hey, you should have twerked. There you go. Love you. Mwah, kisses. All right, last question of the night is going to this Make it a real good one. Good, I mean, what you ask? The queens want what they want. Make it a good one. Make it spicy. You ready? You ain't ready. You ready? Are you ready? Yes. You sure? All right, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Julia. I'm from New York. Ooh, New York. Oh, yeah, I'm a sister, bitch. New York is in the house. Okay, that means you have to have a good question. All right, you ready? Go ahead. I want to know what your biggest disaster was on stage, like a wardrobe malfunction or the stairs falling. Like I. Well, yeah, I asked for a good one. Wait, come back. You asked for a good one. 
Yeah, she, I'm not gonna take the lead on this. She wanted a good one, she gave you a messy one. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Where, where in New York is this one from? Because that sounds like a shady question. Long Island? Long Island, New York. You're just about as New York as I am. I'm from Rockland, Bucket County. Um, <laughs> biggest disaster. So like I said, I, I sure, yeah, that was a disaster. Um, like I said, I'm known as a queen of nudity <laughs> and um, they're making outfits out of a lot of nothing, literally nothing. Um, and the club that we work at, New Haven Partners Cafe, used to have a stripper pole. And when I first found out that I could do a split, I decided that I was gonna get my Cardi B on and I was spinning on that pole and all this stuff. And I hung myself at the top and I'm hanging there and I decided to open my legs. And um, if you don't know how, <laughs> if you don't know how we, elude you that there's nothing there, it's with duct tape. And when I did that, um, I'm guessing the places that the duct tape met got divorced. <laughs> I'm, I'm, luckily it was only one side, so um, something came out to say hello, and it was honestly not the most embarrassing part of my life, but definitely the biggest disaster because I mean, who wants to show everybody their fucking genitals at a strip, at a, at a nightclub? Like, it was really, it was interesting. I'd do it again, though, to be honest. <laughs> Girl, you're in the middle next. Go ahead. Oh, you're so fucking perfect. She pretty so Hey, do you have a theater background? <laughs> so fucking perfect. All right. Oh, you got one? Light bulb. Did it die? Ooh, here, take this one. <laughs> Sylvia, are you ready? I'm gonna give you the mic after this so I can run away from her. Someone really knows biggest disaster? Death becomes him. <laughs> do all these crazy tricks and like hang from it and blah 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 blah. So I would wrap my heel around the rope and hang from it with no hands. Well, don't do it in a fucking pump because the pump, whoop, pops off. So there I am swinging one leg above the bar. I fucking literally belly flop onto the bar and roll off and take two, <laughs> and take two pictures out. <laughs> I guess bonus. No, my ball did not pop out because like a lady, I wear pantyhose. Same. Not the story, the pantyhose. So these are some crazy bitches, all right? I don't have as many adventure stories as they do. No, it's not that I'm so perfect. Listen, I've had my wig fall off. I've had costumes rip. I've had my mic not work when I'm singing. I've forgotten the words to songs. Um. Not a lot, but you know what I never, but you know what I've never done? Circa death becomes him. Tiana Maxim. <laughs> Opening night comes down the stairs late. No hair, no costume, just butt ass naked. <laughs> she and a belt and a belt. That's it. Just wearing a belt. Oh yeah, because that was the only thing that you could. <laughs> she couldn't get the wig to put a bow on her head. She couldn't get the costume to get. She forgot her costume in her friend's car. There were stories, listen, I 
could tell you stories for days. I don't know what y'all, what play y'all were in, but I killed the fucking Death Becomes Her. Oh, you can see it on YouTube on somewhere around this page. Ding. And if you want to book it, it's available. Shameless plug. <laughs> it is. The first, the first night. Oh, yeah, but you want to see her with no hair and nothing? You can go and see it live. That story is real. Yes. Mike just mysteriously just cuts off right there. It's like, <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of our show. Well, get like the world is